गुड मॉर्निंग हाउ आर यू हाँ अथर्व हमने एग्जामिनेशन कब डिसाइड की है ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप हैव वी डिसाइडेड द डेट एंड टाइम ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन नो सर सो व्हेन वी कैन कीप द एग्जामिनेशन टू वी हैव क्लास ऑन फ्राइडे Yes, yes sir. sir. So Friday, can we plan for the objective type test? Okay sir. Hmm. Yes sir. So I will announce that on Friday we will have the objective type test. So shall we start the class? So on Friday, uh, can we have that in the? Uh, lab slot. Uh, means uh, timing. Uh, two to four. We can have it from three to four after your lab is completed. Yeah, that is also fine. No issue. Okay. So when after completion of the lab, we will have the test. No issue. Because I just have to send the link to you people. That's it. nothing much i have to do so shall we start the class now yes sir yeah uh, i'll share the screen with you so good morning all and now today uh, we will discuss about the single plate clutch the analysis of the single plate clutch for the torque transmission so i will show you the sketch oh sorry the figure of the single plate clutch which is there in powerpoint presentation and then we'll try to do the analysis of that okay for torque transmission so here is the sketch of the single plate clutch uh, here this is the plate and they are in the plate is coming in contact with the flywheel flywheel uh, and one plate that is the configuration the this particular shaft which we call it as the yeah so this is the uh, gearbox uh, input shaft this particular portion and this is the engine input shaft that means this is connected to engine crankshaft so we'll be getting the input from this then this is the assembly this plate can slide here it is said that the clutch uh, clutch plate so it can slide and this spring force will uh, able to restore the engagement or if you press this particular pedal now it can be seen that you know, the plate can be withdrawn and there will not be any contact so let us see what is there in the next slide so it discuss about the working of the clutch the how it works it has only one clutch plate mounted on this spline clutch shaft so it's i am mean, having only one plate and naturally it is a single plate clutch so are yaar hmm. uh, pressure plate is uh, bolted to the uh, flywheel through clutch springs and is free to slide on the clutch shaft when the clutch pedal is operated when the clutch pedal is pressed the pressure plate moves back 
against the force of the spring and clutch plate becomes free between flywheel and pressure plate thus flywheel remains rotating as long as the engine is running and clutch shaft speed reduces slowly and finally stops rotating as soon as pedal is pressed the clutch is said to be disengaged otherwise it remains engaged this is what i have explained you generally you see as per uh, information they are saying that it is generally used in uh, ford v8 truck tata trucks premier president and all those things but uh, to me if you ask i will say that uh, uh, it is better to use multi plate clutch rather than using single plate clutch so let us try to see the uh, disc clutch assembly how it it is there so this is the flywheel this is the clutch disc and this is the pressure plate assembly so this is going to get fitted over here on the flywheel and then the this will be pressed again this and if you see this is basically the clutch housing clutch housing is made up of most of the time aluminum or nowadays <coughs> sorry aluminum uh, because then it is very easy for uh, molding and treating it so this is this is basically the clutch housing so uh, this is the assembly of the single plate clutch now we will try to do the analysis for the thing uh, for the power transmission through the single plate clutch this you might have done uh, during your theory of machines class but uh, we will try to do it here so that it will be completed properly because we should know so we will be discussing analysis of single plate clutch okay so first of all the coefficient of friction is usually the these are the general things the coefficient of friction is usually between 0.25 to 0.30 so this is the range which is used in the single plate clutch then for dry plate clutch the pressure on friction surfaces so for dry plate clutch the pressure on friction surfaces is usually between 15 newton per centimeter square to 20 newton per centimeter square for good clutch life so these are generally the values why we have written these values because most of the time these values help us to start or assume certain data before uh, designing the clutch okay so now the clutch ana is analyzed for ta torque transmission the clutch is analyzed for torque transmission using or based on based on two theories this you have studied these theories you might have studied theory one is the uniform pressure theory uniform pressure theory sir madam sir aapne padhi hai kya ye theory then 
uniform pair theory so have you people studied this kind of theory very good so can you tell me that which kind of theory is used for which purpose Uh, so please let me know that uh, where you will use uniform pressure theory, where you will use uniform wear theory. Good that you have studied. So uniform pressure theory is uh, used for the designing of the new clutch because the torque transmission is more uniform for new surface uniform pressure theory okay i will say in case of clutch and the this is new clutch and this is used i will say rather than old clutch used clutch so we will see what are the equations how to calculate the torque to be transmitted how to uh, decide the dimensions for new clutch uniform pressure for old uh, uniform wear theory usually i am saying that for old means i am saying that the used clutch okay so simplified clutch diagram will be used for this a simplified clutch diagram ke zariye we can understand that what are the different uh, terms which are used here So here you can have the frictional surface this is the output shaft this is input shaft from here you get the engine rpm from here you get the gearbox input now you apply the you can say certain amount axial load on the plate for the engagement this is the friction surface <coughs> so if i have to draw the side view then we can draw the side view like this let us try to draw the side view this you can have please the ignore the inner line this line please ignore and this one is so let us say that this is your inner radius r2 and outer radius r1 so this is basically we can say that let w is the actual load on the plate
then P is intensity of uniform pressure intensity of uniform pressure okay then R1 and R2 R1 and R2 are outer and inner radius of clutch plate and mu is coefficient of friction so first we will apply the uniform pressure theory so using intensity of intensity of uniform pressure theory when uh, it says that when two surfaces have perfect contact the pressure p is uniform over the entire surface so what it says the basic uh, assumption or the basic uh, hypothesis you can say hypothesis is when two surfaces have perfect contact the pressure p is uniform the pressure P e is uniform over the entire surface. Naturally, this is going to happen, but do you perfectly agree with this or with the uniform where you are going to have the uniform intensity of pressure sir what is your opinion sahi hai kya the equation using uniform intensity of pressure theory is the torque to be transmitted then in that case torque to be transmitted this is given by do you remember this expression somewhere you might have seen 2 by 3 mu times of w in bracket r1 cube minus r2 cube divided by r1 square minus r2 square sir ye kahi abhi yaad aa raha hai kya aapne kabhi ye dekha hai kya ye equation sir have you used this equation by any chance okay then can you tell me regarding the intensity of pressure p what will be the expression so intensity of pressure p so p is given as w divided by pi in bracket r1 square minus r2 square so this is the expression this this is also you might have used so this is based on the uniform pressure theory uh, we are not taking derivation here there is a detailed derivation given in the book of theory of machines so you can refer that because here our purpose is to find out uh, based on whatever we have learned we need to find out how much is the torque which is uh, to be transmitted from the uh, clutch because the clutch should not fail see most of the time what happens if you drive the vehicle with half clutch engaged then in that case there will be a relative motion between the clutch plates if there is a relative motion between the clutch plates 
there is a heat generation and because of the heat generation the the friction material will fed up and sometimes there is a burning of the clutch also happens so we have to be very very clear careful that when we drive the vehicle the moment you understand that the vehicle is not uh, giving the acceleration performance which it used to give before that means when it was new then definitely you need to adjust the clutch tolerances you need to pay due attention to the clutch because if the clutch fails then you cannot move a single uh, centimeter uh, in the engine running condition so sir ye clutch jo hai ye bahut sensitive issue hai and please let me uh, tell you that this is going to be the weakest link as far as the power transmission is concerned because the whole thing is based on the friction so and you the, that is not in your hand you can neither control the friction uh, you can uh, at the most increase or at the most decrease but controlling uh, when uh, the component it is in use that is very very difficult okay so most of the time and uh, uh, do you know what is the cost of the clutch or if you say the if you want to repair the clutch the what is your expectation man lo ki chalo uh, suv ka clutch agar jal gaya to kya karenge sir kitna usko paisa aata hai sir uh, in that in the meantime i will shift to the new page okay thoda sa sir socho aur mujhe batao ki ek andazan aapka cost kitna aayega repair ke liye कितना आएगा सर कॉस्ट फाइव टू टेन के ओके वेरी गुड एनी अदर गेस यस सर फाइव टू टेन के या फोर थाउजेंड फॉर बाइक एग्री sir it comes out to be more than 20000 20k more than so please be care and what will be uh, it is interesting to know that ki ye sabhi jo cheeze hai nowadays all these things they have to be properly balanced and everything so similarly we uh, try to guess the cost of the turbocharger which is to be fitted in the diesel engine the turbocharged engine just try to guess that since i am just uh, giving you the idea ki kaun sa component kitne mein ho sakta hai okay so now coming back to uniform wear theory so this uniform wear theory it is applicable to the used clutch what are the assumptions or you can say hypothesis the first it says that the rate of wear the rate of we are depends on depends on intensity of pressure and the rubbing velocity between the contact surface between the contact surface sir before we <coughs> discuss further uh, please let me know how do you measure the wear the rubbing velocity velocity is directly proportional to radius is directly proportional to radius so rate of wear is proportional to is proportional to radius r 
सर बताइए सर वियर आप कैसे मेजर करेंगे वट इज दिस हाउ जनरली वियर इज मेजर Now it says that if <coughs> rate of wear is assumed to be constant, then your P into R becomes constant. So this. <coughs> this expression will come from these two statement because the right hand side the constant is nothing but the rate of wear so pressure and velocity uh, this is what pradyumna i have asked you how you measure the wear wear kaise measure karte नो सर प्रेशर एंड वेलोसिटी तो नहीं रहेगा सर एक्चुअली मैंने आपको दो कंपोनेंट दिए एक यूज्ड कंपोनेंट है एक न्यू कंपोनेंट है तो सर आप वियर कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करोगे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस हेज वॉर्न आउट दिस कंपोनेंट इज वॉर्न आउट From surface appearance. Okay, what will be the surface appearance? <coughs> you are fifty <coughs> percent correct, Saurav. But what will be appearance? Shining on component. Chal, ठीक है है. Agreed. Shining on component. You will understand that. there will be certain kind of rubbing between the two surfaces that is why the surface is shining that is agreed what else sir think in terms of the weight or because wear is what basically wear is nothing but the material involved okay so though the magnitude of the uh, see it it depends that depending upon the application the removal of material will measure whether the given <coughs> removal of material the given quantity of material removal from the component is uh, risky or it is the low risk kind of uh, phenomena okay usually please understand that the wear is measured in terms of the loss of weight of the component that means if you are using the component then it may lose a certain weight why polishing will occur polishing will occur because certain small amount of the mass is removed from the component okay and now the question comes whether that is negligible mass or not that you need to decide the second criteria which the <coughs> which uh, saurabh has stated that from the surface appearance so you can make out if there is certain bluish tinge on the surface then please uh, understand that that bluish tinge comes when there is a heat generation okay so if <coughs> you might have seen that most of the time if you open the bill for the repair of the puncture then in that case specifically in two wheeler the brake plate which we have seen in case of the disc uh, brakes the then that brake plate keeps on shining at certain part and it will not shine comparatively at the other location there you can say that there is a effect of heat generation on that particular plate and because of the relative movement between the two surfaces there is some shining some kind of blue tinge is there okay so this is how you can find out whether the <coughs> uh, particular thing is used or it has worn out well in machine tools where the tolerances they are very tight for example bushes then you will see that though you cannot make out with the naked eye that this bush is worn out but if you keep if you actually put it um, on the surface texture measurement then you can easily find out that the particular component has been worn out okay so this is the idea if you uh, go to the company and if you say the wear they will take it in terms of that removal of the material is basically the issue related to wear so wear is basically removal of the material now it says that this 
this expression which will come from the previous two the rate of wear depends on intensity of pressure so that is why rate of wear is proportional to p rate of wear is proportional to r you combine that assume the rate at which the component is wearing out is proportional to product of p into r and if you assume that as a constant which is nothing but the basis hypothesis of the uniform wear theory when we say that uniform wear theory that means the rate of wear is going to remain constant okay so the total load in this case the <coughs> total load on the plate the total <coughs> load on plate w is given by 2 pi c where this is constant where c is equals to p into r in bracket r1 minus of r2 here you can say here your c is equals to p into r okay and the torque transmission the torque to be transmitted is equal to t is equals to 1 by 2 mu w r1 plus r2 so this is the expression so now out of these two theory what is your conclusion that which one is better which one is uh, not better which one will give you the more torque to be transmitted value compared to the other one Sir, which theory will predict or give the more value of the torque to be transmitted, whether it is uniform wear theory or whether it is uniform pressure theory? Uniform pressure theory. Wear theory is conservative for clutch. Conservative meaning, sir? Uniform pressure theory. Yeah. So, sir, conservative ka meaning I have not understood. Note. The uniform pressure theory, the uniform pressure theory gives a high friction torque. I friction torque than uniform wear carriage. So it is recommended to use uniform wear theory in case of friction clutches okay <coughs> unless otherwise stated yani jab bhi aap aur transmission ka estimation karoge agar wo new nahi hai new clutch nahi hai to uniform wear theory use kariyega which will give you more more or less a very realistic value okay to sir aapko ye samajh mein aaya kya Yes or no, sir? The uniform wear theory, life of clutch is more. Uniform wear theory, life of clutch is more. Uh, sir, how do you say that, uh, how it is connected with the life of clutch, sir? Uniform wear theory, life of clutch is more. Uniform wear theory, life of clutch is more. Uniform wear theory, life of clutch is more. 
leaves a safer side. Prajwal, you have written uniform wear theory, life of clutch is more. So, how it is related, sir, we have not discussed as far as life of clutch is concerned. Basically, what is the life of clutch? How do you define life? More wear life. So, my, my question is, see, wear is always going to be there when there are two surfaces in contact. So, how do you predict that this is, let us say, life? of the clutch. Now please understand, I will give you the idea. Okay, chalo, isko ek aapne bahut achcha vishay saamne laaya. Maan lo ek clutch hai. Thik hai? Abhi clutch ka transmission hai, torque jo hai, wo T hai. Let us say this is for new clutch. Now you are using the torque transmission becomes 0.95 of T. So this is used one. Now again, <coughs> it has reduced to 0.90 of T. Again with the usage, it has reduced to 0.85 the new clutch. Now please define whether one, two, three and four which one is you call it as a failure or the last one it is uh, you can say less than 0 0.5 times of t t ki sir abhi maan lo aapki clutch ki jo efficiency hai the torque transmission ki jo life hai it has got reduced from 0.95 to 0.90 then 0.85 t so sir isko abhi hum log kaise bolenge which one is failure one is failure sorry two is failure three is failure four is failure five is failure how do you define it Since you say that uniform wear theory life of clutch is more, man lo uniform wear theory say apne pehle ye new clutch ke liye ye T nikala hai. Now you are using that particular clutch and you are getting this kind of a reduction in the torque transmission. So which one is failure sir? Do you agree with whatever example I have given you? Thickness is almost half in 5. I think Prajwal, it is not the thickness, it is basically the torque. We have not discussed anything regarding the thickness. This T is torque. Let us say initially you were transmitting, the clutch was transmitting 100 Newton meter, then it has reduced to 95 Newton meter torque transmission, then 90 Newton meter then 85 newton meter and then let us say 45 newton meter this is the torque transmission value now you are using the clutch with same with the sorry same clutch with the same vehicle initially it was uh, so prajwal please be attentive i am not talking about the thickness i have not uttered a single word regarding thickness it is basically the torque transmission i am talking about Thickness, so, okay, ha. so Saurav has said that 2, 3, 4, 5, all, they are termed to be failure, okay, so what about others they feel? Sir, Baki log bhi participate kariyega, sir, discussion mein ya aapke kaam ki cheej hai, sir. Sir, pahla wala to nahi hai, sir, failure. Bache huye do, teen, char, paach rahenge. Saurabh Musa is saying four and five. Okay, thik hai, except one. Chalo, sabhi failure hai. Okay. So, sir, acceptable limit, how will you measure this? 
0.95 is not considered failure as the fuel economy with 0.95 efficiency is better than cost of replacing it okay satya you have said the right thing but uh, it has it is not to be considered in case of the fuel efficiency okay because that is going to reduce the uh, you can say the pickup uh, capability and there will be more heat generation in the clutch see please note that abhi sir thoda sa sabr karo ki chalo aapne aapke opinion de, de diye fine i i i don't have any issue so if the effect let us see ki kya hoga ki maan lo the design is you designed it for 100 and it was giving a 100 newton meter torque transmission initially that means you are getting good pick up the engine never used to get loaded now the moment the friction material on the clutch is fading away let us say it has reduced to the torque transmission capacity reduced to 95 newton meter but please try to understand that once the wear started the rate of wear is going to increase faster okay because there will be more space for the rubbing so there will be more amount of the wear which will be taking place that is why the clutch will go on degrading and this degradation will be fast this degradation will be fast compared to this deg degradation so this is going to be slow initially but once the wear started then it is going to create more room for the further wear and that is why the other part the other wear will move fast yani kya hai ki sir aapne maan lo do surfaces jo hai agar relative movement usme zero hai to initially usme koi wear nahi hoga because relative movement is zero what is required first requirement of the wear the first requirement of the wear is there has to be some relative movement and now once it started तो बाद में क्या होगा कि आपका जो है दोनों के बीच में दी मेटिंग सरफेसेस के बीच में यू विल नॉट एबल टू कॉम्पेंसेट फॉर वॉट एवर गैप इज जनरेटेड देयर दो इट मे बी ऑन दी वेरी स्मॉल स्केल बट वंस इट गेट्स जनरेटेड देन इट इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट दी वी आर वेरी फास्ट ओके सो यू विल नॉट नो वे फ्रॉम विच एट इन हाउ मच टाइम it may degrade uh, degrade to 95 to 45 newton meter torque okay so th this degradation fast by the time you try to recognize the torque transmission will reduce to the fast depending upon usage of course that means if you drive the vehicle and if you keep the vehicle parked for 7 days and again you drive then the this will go on increasing the time period but if you are using continuously then you will feel that after certain time this is basically the perception which will tell you unless and until there is some major failure that means the vehicle is not moving at all then in that case you can notice but if you are using the vehicle daily then you will notice that there is some problem with the pickup of the vehicle then you have to define that and if you find the certain friction material if you open the clutch and if you find that your fuel economy is also going down and there is some shining or the clutch um, friction surface is uh, look like that it has been fading due to heat generation or due to relative motion then you term that thing as the failure so failure in case of clutch though technically you may say that if it doesn't uh, suppose if if the torque transmission falls beyond the level of the tolerance then you can term that as the uh, failure technically but if you are using on day to day basis and if you notice the perceptible change in the pickup perceptible change in the fuel economy then you have to look into the matter usually that will be noticed when the efficiency transmission efficiency goes to 95% so 95% transmission efficiency is still considered as the low transmission efficiency okay so that is basically you term as the failure so failure is basically the basic definition in general the it is not doing the intended function but here in this case we you, you can add one word not doing the intended function to the expectation okay or to the expected level then that you term as the failure so this is basically something like which is slow poisoning if you are intelligent driver then you will notice that 
if you are not bothering about the pick up and other thing when you drive the vehicle then you may not notice that is why i am saying that for certain people you will find that if you drive their vehicle then the moment you release the clutch pedal it will if you are a new driver you are driving your friend's vehicle for the first time and let us understand that he is not that careful or sensitive person then you will notice that the moment uh, you leave the or remove the uh, foot from the clutch pedal or if you release the clutch pedal the vehicle will give you the jar and then it will uh, the clutch will get engaged so in that case either you have to do the adjustments if it is by mechanical means the actuation is by mechanical means then you have to look for the wear in the mechanism or you need to check the friction the condition of the clutch okay so this is the thing so in case of clutch uh, failure is very very you can say subjective kind of thing okay unless and until it is basically a mechanical failure now the next is now you wanted to increase the torque transmission capacity so in that case you can go for the multi plate clutch okay so next to which we will be discussing is the multi plate clutch so the principle of working is same as the single plate clutch the principle of working is same as single plate clutch second increase number of friction surfaces increased number of friction surfaces so increase capacity of power transmission increase capacity of power transmission then usually used in used in heavy duty trucks heavy duty trucks and it is used in racing cars racing cars they are dry or wet type again they are dry and wet type the wet clutch is operated in oil bath wet clutch is operated in oil but wet clutches are generally used with automatic transmission ye jo wet clutches hai so wet clutches are generally used in automatic transmission so this is regarding the multi plate clutch we can uh, uh, derive the equation for the torque transmission but before that we have to deal with the uh, number of pairs of contact between the clutch sorry between the clutch plates so number of surfaces because the moment we say that the multi plate clutch then there will be number of the contacting pair surfaces so they are responsible for transmission of the power so in the next class we are going to see that what is the expression and we'll try to do some numericals on this particular uh, topic of the multi plate clutch so please if you have any difficulty please uh, do ask otherwise then i will have uh, i am going to announce uh, uh, about the mcq test 
सर किसी को कुछ डाउट है क्या सर पूछिएगा अगर किसी को डाउट है तो Why weight clutch are used in automatic transmission? Sir, I do not know this. Why the weight clutches are used in automatic uh, automatic transmission? Rather, I know very 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 little thing about the weight clutch. Uh, first of all, uh, I am not very sure that how the coefficient of friction is to be managed with the oil bath. Okay, so Pradyumna, I don't have the answer right now. but usually they say that the fluid coupling is used for transmission of the power or connecting those two things so that is what they might be calling that as the wet clutch because the, it is the viscous effect which is responsible for transmission of the uh, power so fluid coupling basically they might be uh, working as the wet clutch okay so but i am not sure about the answer 100% i do not have the idea about it okay if i get it i will uh, share the information with you okay so uh, regarding the test we are going to have test on friday friday after the practical session please understand that there will be no excuse for your absent absentee in the test रीटेस्ट लेना डिफिकल्ट है बिकॉज दिस इज गोइंग टू बी एन ऑनलाइन टेस्ट विद दी निगेटिव मार्किंग देर विल बी थर्टी टू फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन एंड वन क्वेश्चन विल बी डिस्प्लेड एट अ टाइम देर विल बी ओनली वन करेक्ट आंसर इन दी गिवन टाइम यू हैव टू आंसर यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट दी ऑप्शन सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी दी केस इन सम ऑफ दी केसेस दी क्वेश्चन विल बी रैंडमली सिलेक्टेड and you are you and your friend may not have the same question at the same time okay so this is regarding the test but uh, please be careful when you answer the question then if you are sure then and then only you answer if you take the chance if you do not know that then better to leave it because then that will reduce the marks so last year batch they tried to play a game with the negative marking and unfortunately let me tell you that unfortunately then they requested ki sir negative marking nahi chahiye and all those things uh, so that is going to happen ho oh, sir negative mark marking mein ho sakta hai ki aapne to badi badi competitive examinations di hai so in that case this is very easy thing it will be based on whatever we discussed in the class Uh, most of the time it will test the practical ability of you to commonly judge the answer so if you keep your common sense away so i am not asking any technical uh, technically very challenging question it is basically uh, this will be from the point of view of your practical knowledge okay so this is from my side if you have any query regarding test and other thing please do us i request all the people once again that please attend the test 100% attendance should be there otherwise you will miss on the marks of the uh, you can say assessment marks out of 20 or whatever it has to be given yes sir koi question hoga to puchiye otherwise over from my side you can leave the meeting sir uh, uh, how much sorry. time will be the test Uh, madam right now i have not decided whether it will have been 30 questions or 50 questions so once it is uh, one side design the test uh, i will put it on the net or at the time of the examination i can tell you but please note that if there are 50 questions i am going to give you almost uh, 30 minutes okay so it will be less than 1 minute time for you just have to read because no calculations have to be done so you have to guess the answer okay Th this kind of uh, tight uh, scheduling is done because then otherwise people send it on whatsapp ki are yaar dusre ka answer kya tha kaun sa option tha and all those things those happened so we have experienced this uh, from last one and a half year so that is why to stop or to refrain from such kind of activities uh, we have to keep time Uh, to the cut to cut kind of thing. In fact, को सोचने के लिए ही समय मिलना चाहिए. Other activities के लिए आपको समय नहीं मिलना चाहिए. ये उसका उद्देश्य है. Let me tell you this frankly on your face. नहीं तो क्या है सर कि क्या क्या होता है कि people take the liberty 
तो फिर वो व्हाट्सअप ट्रैफिक पिंग काफी होता है बिकॉज आई हैव ऑल्सो माई डॉटर इज देयर देन आई हैव इन माई होम आई सी सो मेनी पीपल डूइंग सो मेनी काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट एंड हाउ दे अटेंड द क्लासेस सो सर वो मैडम कहानी घर घर की है तो इसलिए सर आई एम ट्राइंग टू रेस्ट्रिक्ट टू दो काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज ठीक है और वैसे भी मैंने क्वेश्चन पेपर में अभी सेशनल के आंसर जैसे मिड सेम के और एंड सेम के हमने पेपर चेक किए सो वी केम टू नो दैट कि लोग कहाँ कहाँ स्मार्टनेस दिखाते हैं जो पकड़ा जाए ठीक है तो ऑनेस्टली दीजिएगा सर मार्क्स की चिंता मत करिएगा क्योंकि टेस्ट इतना इजी है कि आपको फुल मीन्स आउट ऑफ मिल जाएंगे मार्क्स सो डोंट वरी ठीक है वही रहेगा सर क्योंकि वो उस पर वेटेज फिर बाद में एंड सेमिस्टर में कम हो जाएगा तो हमने जितने टॉपिक्स कवर किए हैं सभी रहेगा और फ्राइडे के भी एग्जाम के लिए सभी रहेगा सर जो थर्सडे तक के हम लोग कवर करेंगे ठीक है और सर हार्डली थर्टी पेजेस नोट आर देर नॉट मोर देन दैट यू जस्ट हैव टू ब्राउज थ्रू दिस ओके या एनीथिंग एल्स सर मैंने जितना पढ़ा है आपको बस वो पढ़ लीजिएगा मिनिमम उतना तो पढ़ ही लीजिएगा ठीक है सो ऑन फ्रॉम माई साइड यू कैन लिव दी मीटिंग